Now for three stock lunch, Nancy Tengler will be our trader. We've got her right in the house here. <laughs> and she has uh, three of her top stock picks with us right now. And your consumer discretionary pick is Chipotle. Yes. So Explain. It, it stumbled a little bit when um, Brian Nickel uh, fled to Starbucks, thank mm -hmm. goodness, mm -hmm. uh, that he did. That's um, a Starbucks shareholder. For Starbucks. Also. Yeah, because I am, yeah. I think I talked to you about it at the time. But, um, yeah, so it's in our 12 Best Ideas portfolio. Mm -hmm. This is coming. They're not going to change strategy. They're still trying to drive innovation and productivity. So they've got a new um, sort of make-line product called Hyphen that's really streamlining. Then, um, you know, they've got their target is 7,000 stores with... Four million in average volume. That a lot of that is driven. Almost half. They're currently at two. On their way to four. Almost half of that is mobile orders. So it fits all of our themes. Plus, they think that their sub ten dollar burrito. I've never had one. Mine are always yeah, above 15, fifteen. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah but uh, is cheaper than the competitors by so twenty. So are they to 30%. going to be able on mobile orders, which I know they are very good at? Mm -hmm. uh, but but one of the problems with Starbucks is that they had too much input. They had mobile orders. Uh, they had uh, walk-in orders. Uh, they had all these different ways, and it, it got too complicated. Yeah, it is too complicated. So I think you're going to see Brian Nichols streamline and, and, and really um, shore up. I mean, and just by putting the condiments or the cream and things back yeah. out for customers is going to save a tremendous amount I of time. I love that. I love seeing what he's going to be up to. Me Let's too. talk Uber. That's your next pick. This is so fun because the stock was working so well, and then yeah. the last couple of weeks has been kind of... I don't want to say broken, but um, why do you like it here? Another Tesla casualty. Um, we like it because they've got an, a, a first-class CEO. Uh, they're starting to, to print free cash flow, so they're going to buy back shares. We also think that the business has plenty of room for growth, even still with Uber Eats and the rideshare business. It's, it's been hit on a, a, a strong dollar uh, and, and some slowdown in, in rideshare, but I think um, I think this is a company that you just want to continue to add to at these levels. It's yeah, also in our tentacles compass. in a lot of places, which is yeah. one, of the, one of the sort of enterprising things about that company. Your last pick is one that was uh, that we don't talk about as much, and that's Oracle. Yeah, we used to. Remember when <laughs> used to all the time when Larry Ellison missed the cloud, and so he started taking out ads in the Wall Street Journal, <laughs> bottom right hand corner, yes, every yes, week. Every yeah, time. so they've they've got the magic now. They figured it out. It's a scalable cloud product. They have partnerships with Microsoft, Amazon among others. And I think uh, they may disappoint on earnings. Sometimes they do. And that's an opportunity. It's our largest holding in our ETF, TGLR. Is that right? okay. Yeah. And it's done really well for us. So I think you can still make a lot of money in this stock.